Well, there's a the shower with all the new hardy board in place. Um, I had to rebuild or build this side section over here. Kind of hard to see. There's the wall. And all I did was basically extend what was there and <clears throat> bring it up. So, with that, that gives us a, a seat again. And it gives us a place to put our curtain that'll go between here. There's the hole for the water to come out, uh, water neck. And then there's the controls. So the next step is to figure out what we what we want to use for tile so we can get that started. Um, the other thing is I need to finish off this outside and what I'm thinking of doing is right here I'm trying to make a decision whether I want to put tile that's going to match what's in there and I'm just not sure right now. Uh, I think it'll look kind of neat and it would transition the tile into this next section and then out here go back with sheetrock and just leave it wrap around and finish it out uh, of course the tile is going all the way to the ceiling now so that's one change from the way it was before and um, I still need to do some work down here in the sheetrock and then figure out my transitions where the um, tile will meet the sheetrock that's how that's supposed to look so there it is. Needless to say, progress is slow on this project. Being I've never done it before and I'm still learning things, um, and I barely have any time to do seemingly anything anymore other than work on cars. Um, I made progress though. I decided I'd, I sheetrocked in that, that one section right there. And I also decided to build kind of a standoff over here kind of hard to see but this actually sticks out now from the wall and it covers the seam and it gives it more of a structured area for either the pole with the uh, curtain that we're going to use or if we decide later to put in a glass door now I've got something solid that I can uh, that I can mount to as you can see I put in the the mesh um, may not be the prettiest thing but again it's going to be behind all the tile so probably not that important other than having it sealed up good and um, I'm making plans to start putting in this tile here that's called uh, suede I think I'm going to use that and I'm going to use these little filler pieces or dividers probably have two rows of those somewhere about a third of the way up from the bottom and a third of the way from the top so that's where it stands right now. I've also um, decided to add in some other pieces. I've got a soap dish holder here and this towel rack. Um, I'm actually going to, I think, shorten up the rod and use it to hold like a wash rag or uh, the lupa sponges, whatever they are. And then I've got a couple corner pieces that'll end up back here in the corner just to help hold stuff. But that's where it's at right now. The only uh, issue that I have is probably going to drive me nuts is I'm looking at centering up the tile on this, or I was looking at centering on the outlet, but I, it's, <laughs> believe it or not, that quarter inch right there is going to drive me nuts. But there's nothing I can do about it now. That's why the plumbers have put the lines in and everything's covered, so I'll just have to adjust and get used to it.